Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. So in today's video, we're going to go over how to value real estate using the income capitalization approach. Uh, so uh, let's get straight to it. Uh, so basically, the income capitalization approach is using uh, the potential revenue of the property and calculating the operating expenses to calculate what the net operating income is. And, and using the net operating income, uh, you can use ca the capitalization rate to find out what is the current value of the property. So let's get straight to it. So here's a very basic example. Let's say we have a commercial uh, retail property that generates six hundred thousand uh, dollars, or potentially could generate six hundred thousand dollars of income uh, for, per year. Uh, and so, what we want to do is we want to factor in any possible uh, vacancy, such as maybe we don't have all the leases, uh, lease space uh, occupied by tenants, and maybe we have some vacancy uh, throughout the year. So let's say we have a 5% vacancy, which would be $30,000. And that gives us the effective gross income of $570,000. Uh, also, you want to figure out, you know, what other uh, sources of income do we have? Do we have any vending machines or any parking? Uh, so let's say this, this pro property has, uh, we generate $10,000 worth of parking per year. And that gives us our annual gross income of $580,000 because we're simply adding the parking to the effective gross income from the rents. And we now have $580,000. Okay, the next thing we want to figure out is uh, we want to get the real estate taxes per year. And let's say we pay $100,000 worth of real estate taxes. Uh, the next operating expense we want to figure out is property insurance. Uh, so let's say we have $20,000 worth of insurance, and this, is, this could be anything such as a, a property casualty insurance policy, such as, uh, you know, fire hazard or stuff like that. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to factor in any repairs or maintenance uh, that we have to do. This could be anything from uh, cleaning, landscaping, or maybe even plumbing throughout the year that you have to expand. So let's say our uh, repair and maintenance cost is $80,000 per year. Uh, the, ne the next one we have is utilities. So any electrical bills, gas bills, water bills. Uh, we're going to say that we pay $60,000 worth of utilities. Now, uh, depending on some uh, commercial properties, uh, the, so sometimes the current tenant will pay for the utilities. Uh, and, and that's usually... Uh, figured out in the in the lease agreement. So in the lease agreement, you'll have something that outlines that says, okay, the tenant will reimburse the landlord uh, for the, the, the utility usage. Uh, so that's something that you can find in the lease agreements uh, when when the when tenants uh, occupy the space. And then the last one we have is the the property management uh, fee. Now this sometimes if you're the landlord and you're the one operating uh, or managing the the property. This is a, a, an additional source of revenue that the landlord will receive. However, if you uh, hire a property management company to manage the property for you, uh, they typically will charge you a, a, a certain percentage. Sometimes it's it's you know around three to three point five, maybe a little higher depending on, on the location and the company that you're hiring. Uh, so let's say we have sixty thousand dollars worth of property management fees, and our total expenses is now three hundred twenty thousand dollars. Okay, so now to get our net operating income, uh, we're simply going to subtract the $320,000 from the annual gross income of $580,000. And that leaves us with uh, the $260,000 worth of net operating income. And so now we have all of our revenue and we have all of our expenses to figure out what is the value of this property. And the next, uh, the next metric that we're going to use or the next value we're going to use is the capitalization rate. Uh, so basically the capitalization rate is basically a, a return that investors expect to make uh, from investing in you know a specified uh, real estate property. So let's say that in the retail space, you know in, in this example, let's just say that in the retail space investors expect to make 10% uh, when investing in, in, in retail uh, properties. 
Uh, so to calculate what the current value of this property is, we're simply going to divide the capitalization rate from the uh, net operating income. And that should give us a value of $2,600,000. So that's how you calculate the, uh, uh, the value of a property using the income capitalization approach. So I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Uh, I would appreciate it if you like and subscribe to the YouTube channel, and I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Thank you.